Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. Thank you everyone that submitted questions for this week's Walking Dead Q&A. Everyone really excited to push further deep into the comics, but uh, you know, I feel like there were a lot of polarizing opinions just because not a whole lot happened in the episode. Everybody let me know if you didn't like the episode last night and whether or not you're a comic book reader. Sometimes it's a little easier to swallow episodes like this if you have an idea of what's coming down the road. Even if they change things a little bit, there's still some really exciting stuff that's coming. Let's get to some questions though. So just careful for spoilers from the episode if you haven't seen it yet. So here we go. Josh asks, when Negan shows up in a future season or something, do you want The Walking Dead to be a higher rating since he says F-bombs a lot? So you're, you're talking about like the TV rating. Everybody always asks Robert Kirkman about Negan at, at comic conventions. Usually he talks about the stuff that they're not going to do, like dramatically change the character. So I think they'll be as true to F-bombs as they can be on basic cable. You have to remember they're not a network show, so they can get away with a lot more than a show on like NBC or ABC or CBS could. So don't worry too much about them taking the piss out of the character. I, I think it'll be okay. Next question, Sergio asks, Was I the only one that thought the attack on the barn was a dream? No, I, I think they wanted you to think that because remember they had the argument about whether or not this was real life. You could think of the show thematically as a really bad dream, this post-apocalyptic world, all the bad things that have happened to them. Michonne is hoping that they'll wake up from that. Rick disagrees. He's acting like his grandpa did in that story. They're walking around in enemy territory. So to him, it's not a dream, but it's also not necessarily home. Next question, Moogleberry is asked. One thing that's still bothering me about the episode is the focus on Maggie's wedding rings. They came up so often, I couldn't help but be suspicious. Yeah, I, I wonder if they're just messing with us a little bit in the writer's room, just wanting us to think that someone's going to lose a hand, especially because of that picture that Norman Reedus posted. We have Abraham's hand. We have Maggie's hand. Abraham just got cut with Sasha's knife. Tyrese got his arm chopped off before he died. It'd be really awesome if they continued to do that for the rest of the season. They just kept playing with us. I don't think that writers do that to be malicious. Like, they're, they're not trying to make you hate them for teasing you with some comic book moment. I'm not expecting it to be one of the main characters, just because if they're going to be on the show every week, that's a lot of prosthetics. It's just a lot of work to go through. Robert Kirkman said it's all fair game, though, so that doesn't mean that they could change their minds in Season 6, Season 7, so someone could totally lose an eye, someone could totally lose an arm. Next question, Chloe asks, do you think that the new character is a threat to the group? Well, I, I don't think he's like a physical threat. I think he's just a threat to their way of life. I think he's more dangerous to them because of what he represents or what they perceive that he represents. Remember the Stranger Danger stuff whenever he stepped into frame. I, I think that's what's going to be on everyone's minds for the next couple of weeks. And I don't expect Rick to ever trust them. If anybody's going to drink that Kool-Aid first, I think it'd be Eugene. He was the first one to pick up the water bottle. He, he didn't care if there was poison in it or not. Next question, Tony asks, do you think that tensions will boil between Sasha and Michonne? Seems like they were about to go into it at the bridge fight. No, I, I think that Michonne was just trying to bring her back from the edge of sanity. Both Maggie and Sasha were, were going off the deep end. I think the end of the episode, when they started to smile watching the sunrise, they started to come around a little. They, they started to come back to sanity. Maybe not 100%, but I think they're quote unquote out of the woods. That doesn't mean it's going to be smiles and hugs from here on out, but it does mean that Sasha's probably going to stop lashing out at everyone. Next question, Chaos Device asks, so you had a, a really long comment that was really awesome, but I'm, I'm just going to focus on that last part. Where the hell is Morgan? So that's really interesting because if you remember, Aaron knew who Rick was. He knew his full name. That means that someone who knows the group is probably at the Alexandria safe zone. Cue the drum roll. Hopefully that's Morgan. There aren't that many people that know where Rick's group is and where they're headed that would be willing to help them out. Morgan saw the map, knew that they were going to Washington, D.C., so maybe he beat them there and then told the people there about them. Next question, Jadarko asks, What about the random dogs? Was it an Easter egg for something to come? There's a couple of possibilities. It, they could just be feral dogs running around in the wild, or they could belong to a new mystery group that we haven't met yet, or they could also have been sent there by Aaron. When I say sent there, I mean he could have directed them into their path. He left them water, so it's possible that he also directed some food into their path. Next question, Mr. Marisa asks, why did Abraham knock the bottle out of Eugene's hand when he tried to taste it? Well, I, I think that it was just a reflex. They thought that there might be poison in it. Abraham kind of seems like he's in survival mode right now. So he, he's just going to do the first thing that comes into his head. I still think there's some tension between them, but, but I think that the group has realized that Eugene does have things to offer them. He is a smart person. Next question, Tiffany asks, do you think that the lightning storm taking down the walkers was a sign from God? Well, I, I think it was just part of the religious theme in the episode. You have like, you know, Rick with his Noah's Ark beard, and then you have the biblical flood. The show isn't super religious or anything like that. But they, they just want to leave room for that interpretation. I think they're just counterbalancing the idea that 
just as much as, as there's a chance of something really atrocious happening, like their friends dying, there's also a chance of a miracle happening. It also kind of helped that they saw the Bible sitting there in that shed. Next question, Lucas asks, is Alexandria the Ark that Negan appears in? Actually, there's a couple of things that they can do before Negan comes. Alexandria Safe Zone is a, is a big place in the comics, but there are a lot of other things that they can tell that are part of the comics. I think they will stretch it out a little bit. If you have read the comics and you want to talk about some of those other things that happened between Negan and Alexandria Safe Zone, just please use spoiler tags. Thank you everyone that submitted questions for this. These are always a ton of fun to do. Yeah, I mean, the episode, very polarizing. It's kind of weird when they go from really crazy to really quiet stuff. But I think if, if you stick along for the ride, you'll be happy with where the show's going. Congratulations to this week's giveaway winner, Sci-Fi Addict. You win a $20 Amazon gift card. Just be sure to message me on, on the back end of my channel so I can get your communication info. Next week's episode, I think, is going to answer a lot of questions about what's going on with Aaron and what his intentions are and, and how close to the comics they're going to stick. So be sure to subscribe to get that video. I'll post it after the episode airs. My Gotham video is going to be posting next. If, if you're not watching that show, you should totally check it out. They're doing a Joker storyline. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So while you guys wait for all that stuff to drop, you can click here for my Walking Dead episode 10 video, and you can click here for my latest Game of Thrones season 5 video. Thank you so much for watching. So let's all high five. I'll see you guys tomorrow.